Hey guys, welcome to the overclocking tutorial for the Astrox C97 Pro 4 motherboard. Uh, it's actually only an uh, entrance motherboard uh, for Z97 and quite cheap, but still very good and um, suitable for overclocking. So let's start. Um, we just entered the BIOS by pressing the delete key. You can see the name of the motherboard. You can see we are using a i5 4690K CPU, which is running at 3.5 GHz stock. You can also see that we have four modules of 4 GB memory each, currently run running at 1333 MHz. Okay, first of all, I recommend to go to the uh, hardware monitor, and you can see the stock voltage of your CPU, the vCore, is 1.022 volt. Also, the CPU input voltage is 1.75, about that. Uh, remember those values, we will need them later. Okay, so go back to the OC tweaker. And first of all, we change the CPU ratio, this one, to all cores, because we want to have the same speed on all cores, not only one, to have the full performance. We set this one to 40, so we have an performance increment of uh, 500 megahertz on all cores. CPU cache ratio, uh, the cache is basically a connection between the cores and the cache of your CPU. Change this one to 35. Um, you could actually go higher, but you always have the risk that you run uh, in instabilities and the uh, performance gain is not much from the CPU cache ratio, ratio so leave this one on 35. You can leave PCLK frequency on auto, also this one, spread, uh, spread spectrum, set this one to disabled. Uh, Intel speed set mode, uh, will speed set technology will cause your CPU to clock down on uh, uh, in idle and windows. I don't like that actually and it's not good for uh, high overclocking so I recommend to disable this one. You have to leave the Intel turbo mode enabled otherwise you will not be able to clock your CPU. You don't need this one, this is only needed for um, BCLK overclocking. This one doesn't help either, so just leave those on, on auto. Um, my memory is featuring the so-called extreme memory profile. You can see that I'm using um, quite yeah, high clocking memory sticks, 2933 at C12, 1.65 volt. The easiest solution is to just uh, go to load XMP setting and load the XMP profile. Otherwise it could be that, you, like you can see here, the memory before was running on stock, 1333 MHz, and you would lose some performance, so I recommend to always load the XMP for, uh, profile. If it doesn't work, um, you should uh, check out the vendors page of your memory um, to see the detailed values for the speed. Uh, megahertz and also the latencies 12, 14, 40, 35 for example and also the voltage and set them manually. Okay, so go down to CPU core voltage mode. This is the one we checked before in the hardware monitor where we had 1.022 volt. Change this one to overwrite and we will add 100 millivolts more which should be fine for increasement of 500 megahertz on my CPU. It could be that you need a little bit higher um, you have to test it later, but for now we set 1.122 volt. Uh, CPU cache voltage, you can leave that one on auto. System agent as well, it's only needed for high memory clocks. So, the last one we have to change is the CPU input voltage. It's basically the voltage delivered by the mainboard to your CPU and the CPU itself will change the input voltage into the call voltage. So, change this one to the value we had before, around 1.75. That should be fine. You can, leave, you can leave all the other stuff on auto. You can see the DRAM voltage is already uh, set to 1.65 by the XMP profile. Alright, that's already it. Now hit F10, save values and go to Windows. The tools you need to test is basically CPU-Z, Core Temp and Prime95. You can download them all in the overclocking guide on overclocking.guide. Um, core Temp will show you the temperatures, the um, current temperatures of your CPU. You can also see that we're using the i5 4690K Haswell CPU here. And also, uh, 
uh, the current temperatures of your CPU. Now um, the second tool we need is CPU-Z. This basically shows you all the details of your system. Uh, you can see you're running at 4 GHz, 1.122 around. Um, you can see you're running the ASRock C97 Pro 4 motherboard. And also the memory is clocked correctly by the XM Pre profile, 1466 MHz because we were using DDR memory which means double data rate and um, also the CPU cache ratio here which is correct at 3.5 GHz. Now open Prime95 and do the custom test, set it to f should be 4 here, the amount of threads of your CPU. Change this one to 1344. 1344 here. Run FFTs in place and hit OK. Um, for the detailed Prime95 uh, guide, you should check a separate guide on overclocking.guide in the general OC, uh, which will show you how to correctly use Prime95. And now you can see the CPU is uh, running totally fine. Um, core voltage is, um, core, um, temperature is around, say, 70 degrees, and it should actually not exceed <coughs> 90 degrees here, sorry. And you have to keep this test running for around one hour. Um, if it fails, you can increase the core voltage if you still have room in temperature. If you already exceed like 90 degrees, you should lower uh, the core speed to maybe like 39. Uh, yeah, that's already it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks.